Berkat Yehowa, Berkat Yehowa Shai, Kol Haloyim La Yehowa, Bahasham Yehowa Shai, Barachah Kodash, which means all praises to Yehowa is the name of the Heavenly Father. Bahasham means in the name. Yehowa Shai is the name of His only begotten Son, who the world eternally called Jesus Christ. Barachah Kodash means in the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of Truth, only we can worship the Father and the Son. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to all you brothers for preaching the gospel and truth and in sincerity, always in charity. It's Brother Mathati from Great Millstone Camp to Branch on Des Moines. And I'm um, not sure what I'm going to title this lesson just yet. You know, but um, it's based on these two precepts here. I'm going to get right into it. This is Matthew 15 and 13. But he answered and said, Every plant which my heavenly Father have not planted shall be rooted up. Let them alone. They be blind leaders of the blind. And if the blind lead the blind, both shall fall into the ditch. You know, and I'll, I'm reading this, you know, just, you know, so brothers can keep in mind, you know, guys that fall out or guys that lead a doctrine and start teaching other things, you know, like it says in the book of Romans, right? It's the book of Romans 16, 17. It says, now I beseech you, brethren, mock them which cause divisions and offenses contrary to the doctrine which ye have learned and avoid them, <laughs> you see, to turn aside, deviate to turn away, to turn away from, right? To shun one, <laughs> you see? To shun one, right? For they that are such serve not our Lord Yahweh Shahamashiach, but their own belly. And by good words and fair speeches deceive the hearts of the simple. So when these guys defect, right? Or when these guys rebel, or when these guys, you know, uh, uh, deviate, because that's ultimately what these guys did. They deviated from the uh, from the true faith, from the from the word of, of Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai. When these guys do such, mock them, right? So you do a lesson correcting on something they said, or or you let the congregation know that this guy is bugging out, you know, and let that be it. Don't go with the back and forth, right? Because here it is with these guys, man. These guys need our energy. That's why they watch every last lesson, man. That's why they always <laughs> own our videos, man. You know? I wouldn't be surprised if them niggas be what? Uh, the first view to watch it, man. As soon as it upload. Right? Don't return the favor by responding to something these niggas saying. You already responded. You already edified the church. You gave the proper uh, 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 interpretation. And then let it be. Don't get caught up in your emotions and feelings trying to get a one up with these guys, man. Don't give these guys your energy because they need it. <laughs> they need it. You see? Because once these guys, and how many times have we uh, seen it? You know, in my little time I've been in the faith, I've seen it many times over, man. Once once these guys get ignored, it, they, they won't be out there uh, going for uh, too much longer, man, because they have nothing to talk about. You see? Because the spirit of prophecy is the spirit of Yahweh Shah, which they deviated from. They left the spirit of Yahweh Shah. So what they need is the back and forth. That's what fuels them. That's what gives them energy. That's what drives they every day. You know, that's what drives them, man. And when you don't give them that energy, then what? It's the same thing as a nagging nigga woman, right? That's why Paul told us this. <clears throat> so lucky. This is the book of uh, Titus 3 and 10. A man that is an heretic, which when you go into that word heretic, schismatic, a follower of a false doctrine, right? So this guy is here to cause division, right? Because that's what schism means. Schism means a, a, a rent. Right. But it says a man that is a heretic after the first and second admonition reject. Let's see. Decline, shun, avoid. Right. The same word, <laughs> you know, same uh, synonyms that, that that was in the book of Romans 16. You know. So avoid these guys, man. Because going back and forth, what the scripture says, man. Let 
This Proverbs 29 and 9, if a wise man contendeth with a foolish man, whether he rage or laugh, there is no rest, man. <laughs> Nigga's just going to keep coming back and keep coming back and saying this and saying that and turning that and turning this. Just leave them niggas alone, man. You ain't got to say nothing on that common board. You ain't got to say nothing to these guys, man, because it's all going to come to naught. It tells us here in the book of Acts, right? And a lot of brothers like to use, you know, I'm defending the gospel, man. You already defended the gospel. You already gave the proper way. And whoever continue to watch that guy, it, 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 that, that's what it is, man. That's what it is. See, it says, uh, let's, let's get this. This Proverbs 17 and 4, a wicked doer giveth heed to false lips and a liar giveth ear to a naughty tongue, man. See, so whoever want to continue to watch that, those, those different guys, man, and, and they get swayed or, or, or they start to get, you know, uh, enticed by the things that's being said, man, let, man, look, so be it, man. But we did our part already, as it is written in the book of Ezekiel, man. It says what? That the blood may be off our hands. Paul said the same thing in Acts, the 20th chapter, starting around the 26th verse, if I'm not mistaken. He said, I take you to record this day that I'm pure from the blood of all men because I have not shunned to declare unto you all the counsel of the Lord. It don't need a back and forth. Don't use don't use the precept, you know, defending the gospel to uh, uh, to fulfill, you know, yo, 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 or to get your one up, man. Let these niggas be. You know, but this is the book of Acts. Chapter five. This is the book of Acts, chapter five. And thirty four, then stood up there one in the council, a Pharisee named Gamaliel, a doctor of the law, had in reputation among all the people and commanded to put the apostles forth a little space. And said unto them, ye men of Israel, take heed to yourselves what ye intend to do as touching these men. For before these days rose up through this, boasting himself to be somebody. <laughs> Ain't these guys boasting themselves to be something? Here it is, they entered into other man's labors, but the Lord revealed certain things unto them that they ain't revealed unto the men that taught them, right? To whom a number of men, about 400, joined themselves, who were slain, and all as many as obeyed him were scattered and brought to naught. After this man rose up Judas of Galilee in the days of the taxing and drew away much people after him, he also perished, and all, even as many as obeyed him, were dispersed. And now I say unto you, refrain from these men and let them alone. For if this counsel or this work be of men, it will come to naught. And that's it. And we know that for a fact. We know that the, the, these men counsel, the things that they're saying is of men. It's not of the heavenly father. So it will come to naught, man. So we did our part, right? We warned them guys, which they proved themselves to be a heretic, which got their ass rejected. Now we avoid them. Now we warn the congregation to avoid them, man. And then that's it. It don't need to be a back and forth and all on a guy comment board. Look, once again, don't give them niggas that energy, man. <laughs> you know, then here it is. You vexing yourself. You're going to go click on this nigga. Oh, he just did another lesson. What are you talking about? Then you're going to vex yourself. You know, there's no purpose of that, man. It tells you in Sirach, right? This is Sirach 22. And 13, talk not much with the fool and go not to him that have no understanding. Beware of him, lest thou have trouble and thou shalt never and thou shalt never be defiled with his fooleries. Depart from him and thou shalt find rest and never be disquieted with madness. What is heavier than lead and what is the name thereof but a fool? That's why it tells us here in Proverbs, right? I don't think it says go away. Um, how's it worded? Yep. Proverbs 14 and 7. Go from the presence of a foolish man 
when thou perceivest not in him the lips of knowledge. So not only in person, but also through these electronic epistles, man. <laughs> you know, I don't see how certain brothers can sit there and just listen to guys, man. Like, God damn. Because, you know, once again, my little small time and I've experienced that. You know, I was assigned to watch, you know, certain niggas that was kicked out from amongst us, man. And I, and, 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 and I had to watch every week, every lesson that these niggas did, every outside speaking for about a year and a half, man. Every last one of them. Like, I, I, I literally watched the decline. I watched how the Lord took the spirit away and how different things of the doctrine was changed over time. <laughs> you know, and then I was involved in, in, in a back and forth, man. Those things are not profitable, man, at all. You know, go from the presence of a foolish man when thou perceivest not in him the lips of knowledge. Let's go back to the Sirach. Sirach 22, 14. What is heavier than lead and what is the name thereof but a fool, man? He's this nigga just a burden, man. Sand and salt and a mass of iron is easier to bear than a man without understanding. That's why it tells us here. Sirach 27 and 13. The discourse of fools is irksome and their sport is the wantonness of sin. So these guys is, is just hearing these guys like, nigga, what? You know? So that's why it's best just to avoid these guys, man. We did our part once again. The blood is off our hands. These guys have been warned. They have been mocked. You know? And we should leave it at that. Now, of course, the, in John, the third chapter, it says the spirit is like the wind. So the spirit might have you come across something and you might see you know, something said and you be moved in the spirit to do a lesson. Right. But you don't see our apostles going back and forth with Nate and the, and the guys in these other camps, man. You know. So, 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 so it should be the same thing with us. You know, these guys that used to be amongst us, guys that we have personal relationships with, man. You know. We got to learn to ignore that, man. Hey, man, look, fuck them niggas, man. Let them niggas go off a cliff. Every, every plant that the heavenly father have not planted shall be rooted up, man. That's the words of our Lord, Yahweh Shah. That's the precept we started with. You know? Because what did John tell us in the book of uh, Matthew, the third chapter? It's Matthew 3. And 10. And now also the axe is laid unto the root of the trees. Therefore, every tree which bringeth not forth good fruit is hewn down and cast into the fire, man. And that's ultimately what's going to happen with these guys and whoever else who, who, who want to follow uh, and, and, and listen to these guys, man. You know. These guys are a hey, they, they're fulfilling their role. That's a lot that the Lord has placed them in, man. And that's a scary thing. You know, so, you know, uh, I think that's what I'm going to title it, man. Uh, uh, let them alone. You know, let these guys do what the hell they do, man. <laughs> you got niggas talking about we in a new covenant, man. Hey, we'll, 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 we'll let them let, let, let them niggas die in a new covenant. You see how asinine that sound? You know, under the new covenant, there will be no death, man. But these niggas still hear how I have to slave for Esau under the new covenant. You know? And whatever else madness that these uh, uh guys are out here spewing out of their mouth, man. But we moving on as it is written in Sirach the 39th chapter, man. We're going to stay occupied in prophecies. Because that's the spirit of our Lord, Yahweh Shai. Staying upon our watch, not watching these niggas, right? But watching the signs as we're commanded to do in uh, according to uh, um, uh, Second Edges, the ninth chapter. You know? Staying attentive to what's going on in the world, because according to these guys, nothing going on in the world no more. It's all about Great Millstone now. Let us not fall into that same energy and making it all about these fallout ass niggas, man.
So Lord will, I hope this was edifying to Wadi Yahweh, Baha Sham, Yahweh Shai, for giving me the spirit to do this lesson. I give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Baha Sham, Yahweh Shai, Baha Kwadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to all you brothers who preach the gospel and truth and the sincerity, all in charity. Shalom.